Welcome into the Week 13 Reaction Show on the Paul Farrington Show. Paul Farrington joined alongside Jack Weinberger, Andrew Keenan, Zach Bloomquist, best executive producer in the world, is with us, and Robert Ziggy Ziegler from the University of Virginia. You might notice two things. Because my eyes are exposed. Yeah. <laughs> Jack has no sunglasses. I, just, I jumped the gun. I apologize. You, I you were going to edit those sunglasses. You are going to tee it up. Should we edit, on, edit yeah, we, can, we can edit them on. You want it? Well, no, I know you're very upset about this. A little you bit. You just left them at home, right? I just forgot them. Yeah. It happens. It happens. It happens. Yeah, the cool sunglasses on around. Like, bring them in. The ones that like, fall down. I'll have them for the next show, for, the, for if, our yeah, preview oh, yeah. show. <laughs> if, uh, if there was a day to have them, it, it would be today, given that the bling over here on Andrew. <laughs> I know. It's, it's shiny as hell. I can, I can barely... It looks, good on you. it looks good on you. It looks I, great. I, I, I know it looks. I look like an idiot, but it's fine. <laughs> can you uh, can you hit a gritty? Oh, 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 no. yeah. <laughs> a gritty, a gritty across the room would be pretty, pretty awesome. I, I, that's a million views on YouTube. If you, can I don't do know that. how to gritty. You believe that? I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to gritty. Either. I'll show you guys. I'll post a tutorial on our YouTube page. Uh, we got. We have a very fun show this, coming up. This TikTok of me doing. This oh, that's gonna go yeah. wild. Okay. After the last one, what? We're at thirty something thousand on the last one. I mean, I look disgusting trust. with my shirt off, so it actually, it might, we might get banned. <laughs> what, what was the last TikTok? The one we had about Michael calling in. Oh, yeah, oh, that, oh, that, that oh, was our, right, our best right, one. Right, 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 right. Okay. okay. So Business we're is hot. booming on the Paul Farrington show. We're That's hot all right we're saying. Now. Business is always booming. Oh, it's Antonio Brown. We, Actually, yeah. don't call oh. us Antonio Brown. Business is not booming for him. <laughs> yeah, no, Antonio Brown. I, we got Jets, Vikings a little bit later. Eagles, uh, Jalen Hurts, should he be the MVP? I don't know. We'll get there. Chiefs, Bengals, but let's start. With Zach, I'm sorry, but we're going to start with the Dolphins and 49ers. Uh, you guys, Jack and Andrew, I think you as well, Ziggy, predicted that pretty well. With the um, backup quarterback. With the, with the backup quarterback. That's that's what was really disappointing if I were a Dolphins fan. I, I thought once Jimmy G left that game that you guys were going to – I didn't think you'd blow out San Fran or anything like that, but I thought you'd find a way to win. I doubled down my bet. Did you? Oh, yeah. You're a heavy, you're a heavy better. Listen, dude, If I told you the I, I have the greatest football mind this weekend. I was – I mean, unfortunately, the Jets should have covered. They did. And I was four and one. Bucks. Not Bucks. Sorry. I uh, thought I was saying wow already. Not Bucks, already. Forty Niners, Raiders, Cowboys, Green Bay, and then I lost with the Jets. Yeah, I had the Cowboys too. That was easy. So easy. Ten and a half. You kidding me? I scored thirty three points on football. Football. in the fourth quarter. That was too low. Now, oh, and um, the Lions. That was the easiest bet of the year. I told you on this show. You said, I, you said San Francisco was the easiest bet of the year. And no, the Lions, when you said that they were minus one at home against the worst team in football, the Jaguars. Yeah, they look great. Now they they're minus great. one this week against I, your Vikings. I know they're hosting. Yeah, they're hosting us. And I, I'll be I, taking the Lions. I, 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 like your team the Lions. I like the Lions in that game, too. Oh, yeah, your team's Everyone likes I like the, I like the Lions, yeah. too. After the, after the Cowboy game, Ziggy, I don't, I don't think we have much... To defend, we like people take the lines. They take the lines. I'm not gonna sit here and argue. Oh, everyone loves the Vikings. The dog. Oh, Vikings are a dog. Love the Vikings. No, yeah, yeah. no one's lines. taking the lines. No one's taking It'll the be lines. 88 percent Vikings. I, oh, yeah. I bet a lot. Of and if more. somehow it's the other way, I'll be all over the Vikings. I bet a lot. Of experts or so-called experts are gonna be on Detroit this week. The sharps are gonna be on Detroit. I bet. Okay, yeah, oh, I would say good. so. And probably, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Just I, like the, the I, sharps were on Utah. <laughs> and I say the squares will be on uh, on Minnesota. Sharps were on. Uh, sharps yeah, were so, on. You, sharps. So so Minnesota. Detroit. Sharps are on Kansas State, too. Win. Sharps are on Maryland basketball. Win. Sharps are on Virginia Tech basketball. Do we have the hardwood Win. hammer coming out tomorrow? Yeah, yeah I think we're going to have the hardwood, hardwood hammer. hammer. Ziggy, you didn't hear about that new segment. We're going to have the Jack Hardwood hammer. We all know what it is, too. We'll keep it quiet for now, though. All I'm saying is I'm a, I'm undefeated in college basketball bets. Text the group chat, smash the UVA Florida State under. You did. You, you, did yeah, yeah, you snapped me that. Yeah, you yeah, yeah me. Ziggy's it's been hot, too. I didn't say that. Yeah, you, you're not you're not on my friends this, list. This wow. this this, this show might be I'm, hitting at ninety percent, maybe more. Uh, seriously, all right. Uh, Dolphins 49ers. The big question around the Jimmy Garoppolo breaks his breaks his foot, right? Is this yep. this right foot, same foot he, yeah. he's had all these ankle in injuries with over the years. Uh, are the San Francisco 49ers are their Super Bowl hopes dashed by this injury? Ziggy, why don't we why don't we start with with you as our uh, Jimmy G hater? I mean, so look, here's the Jimmy G. So when I say, when you say I'm a Jimmy G hater, here's what I think he is. I think he's an average to slightly above average quarterback who's really accurate, really good at making throws over the midfield, right? When you look at the 49ers offense, it's predicated on exactly what he does, which is hitting guys in space and letting them run. We have no idea what Brock Purdy can do, except that he wasn't that good in college. And he had a one okay game in the NFL when no one was expecting him. I don't expect a lot from this team. 
unless they bring in the GOAT Baker Mayfield. <laughs> The one thing about Brock Purdy that that can be encouraging for 49ers fans, and Zach said this earlier, is that every single throw he had, it was quick. It was quick drop back, short throws, get to your playmakers, McCaffrey, Debo, get to Kittle, let them do something special with the ball. And that seemed to work, at least against the Dolphins defense. I, I, I as well agree that this is going to be a situation where Purdy comes in and you see the backup that, you know, kind of get hot for one game. And then once there's a week of the preparation for a defense, he kind of gets shut down. I personally would say that the 49ers Super Bowl chances are done. They'll still make the playoffs. I, I think they still make the playoffs. I like the 49ers. Defense. Yeah. I keep saying how defense no, it is. The it is. But I think you need a quarterback. Well, you, well you, you, you guys are Mr. 2 MVP over here, and he looked like he's never played football against that defense. Like I told you what would happen. I mean, he looked terrible. Two, two, I, I, don't, to, I don't know if – No, he looked terrible. I watched uh, – he was terrible. Tua was and off. I've been giving his prop. What, of course he was off. He was playing a good defense. He was off, but he was missing throws that he normally makes. Because he's got the people on his face. He's worried. I'm telling you. I don't know. There were a couple overthrows here and there that I thought were just uncharacteristic. I'm not sure. Uh, the defense is great, and the defense was in his face yeah. a lot of the day. But I thought the same way I thought Cousins was kind of just off. He was missing throws as well. You got to attribute to the defense. I'm telling you. Okay. They, they get nervous. Make bad throws. So you still you still have them in that top three going to uh, as Super Bowl I, The Cowboys have hopped them, but then now they're number two in the, in the yeah. NFC for me. They're okay. still a fantastic team. Like it's weapons galore, phenomenal defense. I would really be more of a Niner believer, you know, with Brock Purdy if they currently held a number one seed. Mm -hmm. I just don't see a first year quarterback now being thrown into the fire, Mister Irrelevant in Brock Purdy going to Philadelphia or even Minnesota in the divisional round and winning that game. They could go into Minnesota. They'll and win. kill the Vikings. <laughs> they could go into Minnesota. Not with Purdy. I don't. I don't think they would. But yeah. Philly, if you're a Forty no ers fan, the good news is the rest of their season's extremely light. They're not going to like fall way down in the seedings or risk a wild card spot. I think the only team they really have to worry about is the Seahawks. Which I mean, the, the Seahawks could win that. They do play the Seahawks in a couple weeks. But look, pretty easy schedule. They should be able to make the playoffs unscathed. Get a home and who game. Knows, maybe they bring in a veteran quarterback. Maybe they ride with Purdy, see what he can do. But as Paul said, I mean, we've seen it with guys like Mike White. Once defenses start preparing for you, it becomes a lot harder to play in the NFL. With, with By the way, that, that statement he just made isn't true. But continue. We haven't seen that with Mike White with, whatsoever. With, with all the weapons that San Francisco has and how good they are, this is a team where if they get the number three seed, can absolutely win that first playoff game at home. Yeah, I think they'll make. I think they'll still get in and are capable of making noise, but divisional I, round feels about right. I don't see going on the road with Brock Purdy to a team like Philly and standing any sort of chance. I really don't. I think I think I'd agree. And now on the flip side with with Tua, Andrew, you you think this game? I know you're never I've said a big this Tua the whole fan. Time. He stinks. But you think you just think he overall no, he's terrible. No good. Yeah, no. Was this the Tua he, he throw, uh, he exposure? Dogs. No. It's, Listen, exposure he'll, eat, he'll eat up the Jaguars. He'll eat up the Lions. He'll eat up the the the. Who else? The uh, the Ra yeah the Ravens horrible secondary. He'll eat up to Texas his whole career. He'll be an NFL quarterback. He will never win anything important because he cannot make a deep throw. He can't hit people outside the numbers. He 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 does his play action. Throw it to them in the middle. You take that away, make him throw over the top. He's dead. I mean, he hit a nice fifty yard throw to Tyree Kill yesterday in stride. Oh well. The, the the difference I have in the AFC after this week is that I think the Dolphins have now fallen behind the Bengals to me in terms of, of my hierarchy. The best team in the AFC, the Bengals, by the way. The best team, the in, the best team in the AFC, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. And, and, and this is, some, we'll, we'll this is, this is somebody that. who said week one did be horrible. I, 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 that was the coldest we, take of the year. Before we go on to the Bengals, uh, did you want to say something about Tua? I mean, all I really have to say is this hasn't shaken my faith in him much. Tua, I mean, we, we know who Tua is. He's a guy who can perform what is with what, with what his weapons give him. McDaniel had a tough day. Makes sense. Shanahan knows the offense well. They're going to rebound just fine against the Chargers. I think they'll be okay, too. Buffalo. Are they on the road against the Chargers? Yeah, oh, yes. yeah on the road Who's on the against road? the Chargers. The and then they'll be favored on the road, right? Uh, I, I think the Chargers are they favored. Is the line out? It got flexed to Sunday night, too, so it's a so it's a Sunday night. Sunday night, Tua. Miami's uh, Chargers like are one and a half point favorites. This is this, one and a half point yeah, favorites. Yeah, we all yeah, Chargers. Charger, Dallas minus two and a half. By the way, by that time the line closes, it'll be Chargers minus three and a half. I'd get on that early. I think I think the Char I think it'll flip too to to the Chargers. Yeah, yeah. As well. This is the whole thing. The same thing when I watched that Sunday night game with Tua when it was the Steelers home game in Miami, where if the Steelers could just catch a pick, they would have beat them by twenty points. Oh, we dropped four picks yeah. that game. You know, if we'd won that game, we're one game out of playoffs right now. One game. Yeah, but, we'll, talk, we'll talk a little Steelers in a little bit. We can, we can do a little Steelers. Uh, so yeah, so, so Andrew's no faith in Tua. Me, Jack, and Ziggy still still believers. I think he's still a solid quarterback. Yeah, uh, I probably take back 
I don't think the divisional round seems about right. Do I think the Dolphins are better than the Chiefs, Bills, or Bengals? Probably not. Yeah, I think I think that they could win their first game. What was it right now? Who would they be playing at the playoff start today? They be, be on Baltimore. The they be on the road. I think they beat Baltimore. Baltimore Winnable, but I'd probably pick Baltimore. Oh, okay. They already did it this year. So what? Lamar's a little the banged Jets up. Jets beat the Bills. Now wait, if they end up as if if Cincinnati ends up as the three, I don't that's, like Miami. That, that is a dangerous well, team. I think that's a good game. Though. They'll lose in Cincinnati. I, the Dolphins will lose in Cincinnati, thirty-eight to ten. If that's the game, you know it too. Joe Burrow I mean, will shred that defense. It'll be loud. They'll be cold. They have no chance. The Bengals just this this guy Burrow just wins every time he's on the field for a good team. Yeah, let's, let's talk about Bengals. He's unbelievable. Chiefs. Yeah, he's unbelievable. He's crazy. He's crazy. The, he might Chiefs. be the second best quarterback in the NFL. Do you th- uh, really? You think yeah. so? Behind Mahomes, I think Mahomes might be the best quarterback ever. But uh, Burrow's the second best quarterback in the NFL, maybe. So one of the questions we had is: Is Burrow the best big game quarterback in the AFC? So if you no. have to win a game, if you, like, you still take Mahomes? Like, I'd still take Mahomes, too. Probably, but there's something about Burrow. Probably, but Burrow's beat him three times. Yeah. So that's where I go back and forth. And he beat him in no, Kansas City. Like, it's Mahomes. Back-to-back weeks, this Bengals team, right? I, I, I faded them in Tennessee. You know, that your revenge spot. Knocked out of the playoffs last year. Tannehill wanted to win this game big. Since he, on the road, with no Jamar Chase, no Joe Mixon, wins that game. Comes home, hosts the Chiefs. <laughs> Team they've beaten twice last year, and Mahomes in a revenge spot. We know is great. Beat him again. Yeah. If Mahomes it, had Chase Boyd and uh, Higgins. Uh, Higgins, he they, oh, yeah. Yeah. would be up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Mahomes is a better. His I, weapons kind of stink. This they're missing. Besides you, you could really tell he's missing. Time I mean, it's it's M- MVS and Juju Smith Schuster who couldn't even get a catch on the seat. Like it's tough. Tough I mean, sledding. Yeah. Also, too, I mean, it's it's Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Though. Yeah. The, the Chiefs had that game, and Kelsey had a big fumble up by four points. Yeah, fumbles. They, they, they could have gone up 11 late in the game. It would have been over. And it would have been over. But there's something about this Bengals team. I, I'm, I'm, but Burrow, I'm on Burrow board. does find a way that he gets the big score when he needs to. Do you think that this Cincinnati team now, are, are they set up for another Super Bowl run similar to last year? Yeah, I think, I think, it's, I think it's them, KC, or Buffalo. Any one of those three. I pro- I, not yet. <laughs> I, I can't buy in. <laughs> I can't in the buy NFL, in. in the playoffs, it's just so hard to win on the road. We got to see the Bengals do it last year, and it was great. But they're going to have to travel to Kansas City or Buffalo. Then they're probably going to have to travel to the other. To do it it's again. just tough yeah. for me to see Burrow winning, winning all of those road games again. in the AFC. But if there's any the quarterback to, to do stadiums. it, if there's any quarterback to do it in the AFC, it's, it's oh. going to be Allen, Mahomes, or, or Burrow. I don't yeah, think any other quarterback in the AFC right now. Sorry, sorry about two. I don't think any other quarterback in the AFC at the moment I mean, is Mike capable White of going. It's okay. Mike White, Mike I mean, White played okay. That, yeah, that's true. When, when we catch you guys for the seven seed, it's just that I don't think be? that there's any quarterback I, I trust <laughs> even close to the level of, of belief I have in Mahomes, Allen, or Burrow in the AFC. Pickett, Pickett's okay, but even Lamar. Like I don't think Lamar goes into any of those three places and wins. No, he, he I never I, has. Like, I trust never has. I trust Joe Burrow more to do that than Lamar. I think I might trust I, Burrow more than I probably trust Burrow more than Josh Allen. I it, it's it's That's I could, close. I, yeah, you I could you could sell me on that too. Yeah, no, but I, I think no. it's hard. I think it's hard for Burrow Not to yet. have to go and do it again. On the road, Burrow's might be well, the clutchest quarterback in the NFL, but he's not like. If well, you no, start no, a game, I, I'd, rather, think, have I'd rather have Josh Allen, but I don't know. In a bit, like late in the game, I guess Bur- I guess Josh, Josh Allen, Allen did do it. Too, he yeah. did do it against Kansas City. I mean, but Burrow wins. Yeah, but road teams win forty percent of the time in the playoffs. Also, I get that. Bur- you can I get Burrow's a. Yeah. I get that Burrow's a big game hunter, and then he steps up big when the time counts. But you just can't do that consistently. He was extremely close to not making it past the Titans last year. I, I just, mean, I don't, the, a lot of people think the Raiders. A lot of people think the Raiders should have beat them. Raiders could have beat them. Yeah, Raiders fans it's will tell you they should have. But it is tough to consistently win one score road games in the playoffs in the NFL. You just can't do it. Didn't Burrow have a chance at the end of the Super Bowl to win it? He did. Yeah. He so did. again, yeah. He, again, it's Super Bowl. I'm not there. saying he choked. The Rams had like an all time good defense. I think. I think Aaron Donald at the yeah. end of that game just said, "I'm the best player yeah. on the planet right now." Ring me. Yeah, bring me. me. That's that's legitimately what he said. That was like foreshadowing to this year with Quinn and Williams. Actually, th- but this game, I can buy it. Mm-hmm. Buffalo getting ba- the one seed back. Cam Hayward, maybe. I don't think enough people are talking about how important that is today. The playoffs going through Buffalo. We've said it a million times. If the, the playoffs go through out. Buffalo, <laughs> the Jets will help them out. But if the playoffs go through Buffalo, I mean that may that's the world to them. Oh yeah. I don't think they're not going to beat Kansas City in Kansas City. I really don't <laughs> think they will. 
I think they could. They could. They could. I, but I don't like, think they would like, in the playoffs. After they've beaten them twice <laughs> out of the last three games in Kansas City, but not in the playoffs. The playoff game took a freaking miracle. It did. Like thirteen. Like that doesn't happen. So this team could go on the road and win, but in Buffalo, I think the game in Buffalo, Kansas City would lose worse than uh, Buffalo. I think I think City. Buffalo could could win every game in Buffalo by double digits. I agree. Whereas in Kansas City, they got to get healthy too. They they got to get a little healthier. Von Miller's a little. Oh, those, those that that cold, snowy weather in Buffalo yeah. in January. Forget it. Let's uh let's let's, let's do a little Jets Vikings. So why don't we uh we move on as as Andrew is blinged out. Uh, ready to do his Kirk Cousins dance on Instagram. I didn't want to trash talk you guys too much during the game. I, I don't think I did. I sent one. Well, there's message. no reason to trash talk. Like you don't. Oh, have we won. Okay, okay. You well. I mean, you guys didn't even cover. I mean, I mean, we won. Did you, you win got, or did the Jets lose? I would say the Jets lost. The Jets lost it. Yeah, yeah. the Jets lost it. Listen, but, but at the end of the day, the Vikings. This did is what's going to happen. Someone who you know, again, graceful mind of our generation. Someone who watched every play of this game. Mm-hmm. Someone who's watched every play of every Jets game for the last maybe that I like remember clearly 10 to 12 years. Mike White was fantastic. Fantastic people, to stretch. No, no, no. He was fantastic. Pe- oh. People will say like, like Ziggy who didn't watch the game or all these guys. Who didn't watch, oh, two picks. All these, they have no idea what they're talking about. The two Mike picks White isn't, isn't what I'm big throw after on. big throw after big throw to put his team into position to win this game. Fourth and 10 to Corey Davis hits him in stride. That was the throw. Unbelievable that was throw. A fantastic Great throw. throw. You go back fantastic and watch that throw. clip to Braxton Berrios. He throws it sidearm past someone's arm in between no, linebackers no, 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 and no, hit no, him no. right in the chest. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. He throws it yes. sidearm yes. behind, behind, behind him. It was he behind him. He throws it. it was behind did the ball, did the ball hit him in the chest? No, it didn't. It hit You're him wrong. like Berrios was running. Berrios is running. It was like this. Berrios was running to his left. I just watched it. We just watched it. We just watched it. You're wrong. Barrios, you go ahead. Mike White made a great throw, and it came down to the fact that, you know, a sure-handed receiver that they drove a play for on fourth down dropped the pass. And that's I, think it, right. oh, I think it was so catchable, oh. for sure. No, no, I think it was chest. behind him. It, it wasn't, again, was it, was it out in front of him? No. But, he, but was it, it hit him in the chest. That's a throw Pickett it makes. Uh, again, like, Pickett makes that throw. We'll, we'll watch sure. in a second if we could get the, uh, the, the Wi-Fi to work. Again, here. regardless, it doesn't matter. Mike White looked phenomenal. And like what I've been saying every single week while you guys have been laughing, you say these top five wide receivers – Garrett Wilson is already a top five wide receiver. He was unguardable. You, he was you, great. Oh, no, no. Every week he's great. But we had a, we had a third grade quarterback who's worse than you playing quarterback and going to get him Thank the ball. You. This is a different football team now. We went into Minnesota. We should have won. We lost. It's you fine. Lost. Whatever. This is a good day for Jets fans. If, just, what, 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 what nonsense are you going to say? All I was going to say is I think it's really weird that the guy who said earlier in the season that all that matters are wins and scoring is talking about how great the guy is who didn't get them. Well, he got it, him one walk-in touchdown and not a win. Well, it wasn't it wasn't his fault. If, if Mike White was the reason we lost, I would say, oh, yeah, he's not. Mike White is the reason we were in the game. If Zach Wilson's in that game, it's a 40-3 to three game Vikings win. And Paul, maybe now after watching the game, can agree with how dumb his take is of Mike White or Zach Wilson. It's night and day. This guy Mike, is Mike White was so a lot. I much think he was a lot, better. He was a lot better than Zach Wilson would have been. But yes. the problem is you were in the red zone, what, six times? And you had one touchdown. Yeah, we, we could. And again, that I'm sure some of that falls on the quarterback. Some of that yeah, falls no, on no, the that, receiver. That, some of that falls on the play calling. When it, you say he played, I think he had a very good game. But when you say he was fantastic, the Jets, Jets had every opportunity to win that game. And look, to throw to Barrios, I, that's not like the one thing I'm getting throw. on. I think it was behind him. Uh, the interception a little behind. I thought he was slightly off, but he made he did make a lot of big throws, and the, the throw to Corey Davis was sensational. This was his fifth start ever. He has to remember this. Fifth yeah, start yeah. ever. If and I, again, he wasn't a second he overall no, pick. He, he'll be the guy. He wasn't forward. a third overall pick. If Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, Mac Jones had this type of performance in their fifth game, they'd be the biggest story, the biggest thing ever. This guy is the future of the New York Jets. Yet, yet to remember the him. future, and I, I am doubling down on Mike White. If, if anyone that says the trade for, like I said, sign Lamar Jackson. No, Mike White. It's all Mike White. This I want Mike White this week. I want Mike White next week. I want Mike White until he retires. This is my guy. I'm all in on Mike White. Zach Wilson, get him off the team this offseason. Trade him or drop him. Get him away. I don't want any quarterback controversy. Joe Flacco can stay to just sit there and hold cold the clipboard. Mike OC White. one day, maybe. OC one Doesn't day. Calls th- and plays. Does this remind you it's of anything Mike back White in like August? Ever, every week. Oh, this is like a carbon copy. Carbon no, no, copy. I, I was, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. He's the guy. I was wrong. Down. I was wrong. He's my future. I was wrong. You're wrong now, too. I'm not wrong. <laughs> this I, guy I, I, I is think sensational. In three if weeks. he goes into cold Buffalo this week and scores 21 or more points, this guy is, in, is sensational. That's the cutoff. Sensational. When, when it's... When it's 
42 to 6 Buffalo. <laughs> next week, next Monday show, next Tuesday, Tuesday show, Andrew's like, yep, he sucks. I was wrong. Jackson no, he's terrible. needs to no. be a Jet. <laughs> it won't happen. I thought he played well. This game. You should have won the game, though. Plus nine would, and a half is the most disrespectful line in the history of sports. Oh, it is. The Bills won by 20 in that game. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ziggy, I w- look. I, I was I was very impressed by the twenty to three comeback on the road. Well, that's what we do. I mean, we do <laughs> I that guess that everyone. is what you do. Yeah. We do that against everyone. It when did. when the New York Jets are marching down the field in Kansas City in the first round of the playoffs with Mike White at the helm, Salah going crazy on the sideline, this defense standing up on the benches, I just want you to look over here and say, "I told you so." You know, that this guy is is first class. The two seven. The two seven. You, you know who's breathing. Yes. You know who's breathing right down your neck for that final What's playoff your record? spot. Five, five and seven. seven. They, look, We're look seven and here. five. We're nowhere near uh, you. Actually, you know this. You know this. You know they play. Host, host the Ravens. But they have the tiebreaker over you, don't they? Oh, I know. But they'll they'll they'll, they'll lose out. So we're three games up. We're three, three games. We're up. three games up with five games to go. Host the Ravens. No Lamar. The Patriots is their concern. Uh, I mean, our schedule. We should have. Uh, we should make the playoffs. After this week, we're six and seven. They're seven and six. So we're two games up. Then and we, we play the Lions and the Jaguars. Those are both wins. Lions, you, Lions, you lose. Yeah, that's insanity. You lose Lions. In New York, yeah, we're gonna we're, we'll beat them. There's, there's no home field advantage, though. It's not. That is. <laughs> what oh, are you talking I, oh, about? I also said week one, Atlanta home game win. Did I not? You did, you also said you also said <laughs> Steelers Bengals Steelers are much better than them, and now you just said the Bengals are the best team in the NFL. Yeah, I was wrong. I was okay. wrong about that. So we, I, we all have things you said wrong. correct. Oh, I admit, I admit when I'm wrong. I also admit when I'm right. At the, at all the, I said at the beginning of the year is we'll be 9-8, and eight, or we'll be 8-8 eight and eight going to the Dolphins to get into the playoffs, and we're going to kick their ass. That's what I said before the season. I, I think, think the Dolphins happen. will we'll, win that game. We'll be, we'll be 10 and 7 going to the playoffs. I think you'll get. I actually think right now, I think the Jets are going to go to the playoffs. Hold on, let me, let me, let me think Look, about that. They're not catching. They're terrible. Can I read my, my, can I read my schedule? That they own the tiebreaker. You know, they they own. Okay, they own the tiebreaker, game. but look who they play. They have a hard schedule. We don't. Yeah, no. I need to look at the schedule. I, the Jets are, are we play a playoff the Seahawks, caliber. They're, Lions, uh, Seahawks are. I mean, those a are two good teams. Yeah, but it's not like we're going to play can, the Chiefs, where it's an I, automatic loss. Like can, that'll be a good game. Can I read the Steelers' schedule real quick for yeah, you guys? Please, please do. We host the Ravens. No Lamar. It's a loss. That's a win. I think you're going to. Go lose. That's the biggest game of our season. Go ahead. Pick is playing well. Defense is playing well. At the Panthers, home game win. Host the Raiders on Christmas Eve in Heinz Field to be eight and seven. Loud win. Go to Baltimore. R- r- division game. You never know. Could win that game. <laughs> that's, a, that's, no, a, no, that's a great. And, that's a great. And, and, loss. and then host the Browns to end the season. This could be ten and seven going to the playoffs. You, you do dead serious. The, the, the Jets don't have many easy games. No, Andrew, I'm looking at your schedule right about? now. You're, you're at Buffalo, at Seattle, and at Miami. Like I think those you three could lose all three. Like the Steelers could catch the Jets. No, no. and then I think yes, you could lose. Could. I think the. Well, I don't think the Detroit. Steelers are not catching the Jets. I want to be clear. About Thank that. you. I think they could. The yeah, Steelers no, could no, win. I'm. I look. I applaud. I applaud your belief. We can go ten and seven. But I'm saying it right now. Probably not. If we win, this is my... I legitimately think if we beat the Lions and Jaguars at home, we are in the playoffs. That's the, the, only team with a, the only team with a legitimate chance to, like, catch the Jets here is the Chargers. Might be if the Chargers or if the Browns somehow manage to turn it on. But no, if the Chargers are the one team that has a chance because of their record. Because yes. they've got a lot of easy games. And you can't, you can't, you can't see the, the Jets losing those games to Seattle, Miami, and the Buffalo. Even they do. We just have to get New, two wins. New England beating the Cardinals, Raiders, and Dolphins. Car- the way, wait, Miami beating who? The Cardinals? The, are they on the, the road Patriots. in any of those? They the, will, if they're on the road on the Raiders, they have no chance of beating them. They're on the road against They will not be sure. Are they in Miami? They're at home against they Miami. They could beat Miami. They'll beat them at home. Yeah, they beat them at home. Ooh. It's Patriots. really hard for me no. to see the Jets going two and three for the really? rest of the season. That's the worst take I've ever Zach heard. Zach gives an adamant no. Yeah, that was the worst. It's, take it's really heard. hard for you to see the Jets going two and three. Yeah, I think they'll win one of their hard games and both of their easy. Yes, a hundred percent. I think they're. Thank I think you, they're gonna go, I think they're going to go. This is a good team. We just they went are, to oh, nine and two they're a good Vikings team. and should have beat they, them. They're, they're a good you're team. acting like we they're, suck. No, no, you're a good the team. The Seahawks. They, they are you, terrible. We're you, love you love the Seahawks. Seahawks. You love Geno Smith Seahawks. every single okay. week. You, you love your Seahawks. Guys. Every week okay. you're on Geno. Okay. Okay. You're riding Geno. Are we? Are we forgetting that like Kenneth Walker is probably out for the rest of the season? Thank you, Ziggy. Again, I'm the I'm the guy who always hates on them, and I get yelled at. Look. If the Jets win in Buffalo, they're my Super Bowl pick. That's what I'll say. They're oh. not going to win in Buffalo. But I, I think they will. They're not going to win in Miami. I agree. They're not going to win. I agree. I agree. I agree. Maybe, 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 right. yeah. Tooth, tooth. Actually, I'm going to give, again, this has not kind of nothing to, but it doesn't, whatever. 
Um, my mind's going a million miles an hour. You guys are killing me. <laughs> Look, all, all the, I will say is this. I'll give the reason <laughs> that Andrew can't give right now. No, you don't know what I'm going to say. All, se- all season long, the Jets have been counted out of basically every game. True. And the Jets are what? There's there's seven and five. Is that the best record in the NFL? No, they're, but they're it's a record a of a team, team that knows they're how to team. win games. I, don't want, I, I just want to tell you, and I can guarantee you that these fans don't understand it. I wouldn't want to see a young, hungry Jets team as a seventh seed with nothing to lose and a great defense. Oh, if I'm Mahomes, I'm drooling at that matchup. Regardless, <laughs> no, no, Mahomes, Mahomes doesn't like. He, again, he he fears no one. But a Jets? lot of teams, I wouldn't want to play the Jets. In. The Jets oh, are plus yeah, oh, no, nine thousand. Yes, the Jets are now plus nine thousand to win reason. the Super Bowl. That is the craziest line of all time. Plus nine thousand for a team that really might make generous. that might make. I think you're right. That that's ridiculous to make the play. This team <laughs> might make is in my mind making the playoffs. They plus might make the playoffs. Nine thousand. The, the Chargers are plus four thousand. Your route's going to be plus Kansas City. nine thousand. The, the, the Kansas have. City, then Buffalo, then no, 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 not no, not then Buffalo. Yeah, then but oh. no. Why is it then Buffalo? The path would be because Buffalo. It, re- it recedes Buffalo's the NFL. Yeah, I didn't even yeah, know. Re- oh, yeah, it recedes. Regard, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're going to beat Mahomes, then Josh Allen, and then what? In that That's case, you probably going to the borough. Probably going against Cincinnati. I haven't been yeah. in the playoffs in ten years, so I didn't know it, it recedes. Twelve years, actually. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, if Mike, look, if Mike White beats oh, Mahomes, he, look, if Josh does, Allen, and Joe Burrow, I'll do a show. How fully do we know? Naked. How do we know? Jack and I will I'll be do a show fully knew that happens. How do we know that the that the Bills are? Oh well, they'll have a shit. Oh no, but. Unless you, you, if you beat, them. there's no, there's no world where we don't play both Mahomes and and. Well, it's, it's just it, hard. No, it's you, would, just you would have hard. to. Unless, well, unless, maybe if we get hot, we could be the six seed. Unless, unless, you, unless you jump, unless we win out, the Dolphins unless you jump the Dolphins. Out. Oh, so if the Dolphins oh, lose, wait, if you beat the Dolphins, no. So if the Dolphins lose this week at the at the Chargers, at the you Chargers, the which is possible, you and the we beat the Bills, then we're sixth. Or you just beat them. Or, or the Ravens. Season. Wait, we could come in sixth if so the Raiders. St- statistically, yeah. there's no difference between how frequently the sixth seed and the five seed wins the Super Bowl. No, no, we're, say, we're saying to avoid. We're saying to avoid. Yeah, just for the sake of the well, past. Still, I'm, I'm saying go. it doesn't matter. You think you it get matters, Cincinnati? It we're gonna, we're gonna kick the. Go. We're gonna. Kick, I, I'm confident in this Jets team. Hey, look, we've seen we've seen six seeded Jets teams in the past. As similarly built, the Super Bowl, though, Jets, fairly, yeah. similarly built, right? Would you say? Except yeah. maybe not offensively. You're, you have a little well, more we, firepower right now. We're better. Dude, this Jets team. I don't want to. Again, I can know what's going to listen. I, I love. I love these Jets. I think they're a really fun team to root for. If I were a Jets fan, I, I would be excited. Mike, if, oh, Ma- too. if Mike White goes, can we at least say Mike White is good if he sure. goes into Buffalo and throws for 300 yards? I think he is. I yes. think he's a solid. Thank you. I, I, yes. I'd like to see one yes. passing touch. But let's, let, let me make one thing clear. Mac Jones threw for 400 yards on the Vikings. Mac, everyone does. Well, Ziggy's the one who has a good defense. I said your defense stacks. I, the secondary is bad. The, like the pass rush and run defense. Is going bad. nuts against the Vikings. I, again, I, I think, I think Mike played a pretty good game, but Mac Jones tore us apart on Thanksgiving. Everyone sets their career high against us. So I'm, I'm just saying, not too fast. I, I thought he played well. All right, but he missed Barrios. He didn't miss. <laughs> okay, um, right. let's wrap it up. Yeah, one, one more thing here. One more thing here. Um, Eagles, Jalen Hurts. Right now, I, this is just something I wanted to add in there. I'm not. I don't like Philadelphia at all in terms of teams. I hate. They're probably they, they make the top five easily. Probably top four, um, maybe even three. They may they may they may be your top three. But Jalen Hurts right now, I think deserves to be the MVP. Oh, he's unbelievable. He's I mean, eleven great. and one, mauling everybody. You know, the most public bet team of the weekend was the Titans plus the four and a half. And no, and but Hurts is doing it with his arms, points. doing it with his legs. I think he has alpha but, dog mentality. And whenever he's everything about whenever it, he love. winds back, first of all, protection is also great. This is the best line I've ever watched, which which helps. But when he's winding back to launch a ball down the field, somebody's wide open. Whether it's Devontae it's like, Smith, it, it feels or like AJ Brown, it feels like, like you're like watching him in Alabama. Automatic score. It's, it's like crazy. watching him in Alabama. It's crazy. Yeah. Have they played any good secondaries? Like a noticeably good secondary. The Eagles. The Eagles. Yeah. Um, I mean, off the top of my head, I can't. I, I think can't think of one. I mean, they, their schedule's been. I, I consider long. the Cowboys secondary pretty good, yeah, especially Dallas. when you combine their pass rush. There's also not like a whole lot of secondaries that I'm like, oh, this is a great secondary. Yeah, there's da- not many out there. Dallas is probably the best one they played this season. Yeah, I mean the 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 Packers certainly have a good one, right? The Jets do. Jets have that. a great second. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just oh, like, oh, yeah, good second. Good second I'm just saying good secondaries. But I, right now, <laughs> you don't. You have a horrible second there. Right? Like Thirteen points in, against Atlanta. Marcus Mariota, decent quarterback. It's not bad. <laughs> That's stop. <laughs> but right, right, just right now, real quick, who's, who's your MVP? Mahomes. 
Justin Jefferson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, 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 why are you saying that? Well, he's my MVP. I think he's the best player in the league. Most How valuable player. more yards than him? I, I like, watched. Yeah, I well, watched the game. Look, there is. There is a. If Justin Jefferson was not on the Vikings, they would be terrible. There's so a, he's the most valuable player in the league. To there's me. a difference in the best mm-hmm. player versus the most valuable. Well, right, well, who's player. your most valuable? And that's player. where he, that's where he's going. Yeah. My MVP is Patrick Mahomes. But is because that, because of any other quarterback quarterbacks the Chiefs with like Juju and and who even else like MVS MVS yeah like they're not nearly as good. Sky Moore. So you, who but you the, got? I want the guy who's dominating basically every week and has only lost one game. I mean, Jalen Hurts has just taken that step forward. And look, let's be honest. I get that like Mahomes might be the more valuable player in like some weird sense, but narratives matter. And oh, the Mahomes fact is, Hurts has AJ taken Brown. that. Hurts has taken that huge step forward. He's yes. playing really well this year. He's a threat on the ground. He's a threat in the air. It's it's tough for me not to pick the best player on the best team. That I, I'm going with Hurts as well. I, I think he's just been dominant. The Eagles, look, uh, what, he, other than two, maybe two games this year, have just been crushing people. Either one of those players could win the MVP based on how they play in these last five games. I think Micah That's, Parsons think is, is really the best the player race. in football. I like, think you can put... I mean, he is. Micah Parsons is incredible. I think you can put Patrick Mahomes on a roster full of mediocrity and they're a Super Bowl contender. I don't know if you could put Jalen Hurts on a mediocre roster and he'd be what he is. I mean, right, right now, I think, if, if be, put, I think he might be horrible. If you put Patrick like he, Mahomes on... Uh, I'm trying to go down the NFC I mean, right now. If you put Patrick you, Mahomes on the Patriots, they'd be the best team. No, but in the, yeah, in the, I, NF, in the NFC in, right now, whoever you put Mahomes on is probably Super Bowl favorite. In the to, or to come out of the NFC, yeah, yeah. If, if you put him on Minnesota, like, if, San Francisco, I mean San Francisco, yeah. he'd be the, if you would get be if you have Patrick Mahomes, the line that the Eagles have with AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, uh, he might they be, might score eighty points. The best eighty points again. Buccaneers. Yeah. If Mahomes is on the Buccaneers, you pick them over the Eagles. Yes, well, mighty close, mighty close. I was, what Giants? No, I don't mm. think so. I they, think, they they stink. Seahawks, I think you put probably most, Seahawks. Yeah, Washington, yes. Detroit. Yes. Like you yes. put him most, Detroit? put him yes. put him most places. He he's, he's, he's any team with weapons Ziggy, outside. I take Ziggy, it. Patrick yeah. Mahomes on the Lions. Are you taking them over the Eagles? No, I <laughs> that's in, that's an insane take. I think but, I think they're about um, five. Um, would have but, five thousand yards. The Lions played a three point game with the Eagles with Jared Goff. Yeah, I, I, Mah- I, yeah. Mahomes would not be scoring much more on the Lions than they are now. So the Lions already have the best offense in the. They're NFL just going fifty five to thirty five. They have Mahomes. <laughs> Jeez. All right, we can we can wrap it up there. Thanks for listening to the Week 13 Reaction Show. And uh, I'm really excited to see what happens with these Jets, although we'll have another show beforehand. Before These Jets. Even, yeah. Again, if they lose this week, the season is not over. I'm fully expecting no, them to lose. Th- I think they lose this. No, they're a good team, and they're going to they're gonna be in until the end. If that the Patriots, game in Miami will matter. If, if the Jets lose and the Patriots lose and the, and the uh, Chargers lose, we're still in the same spot. We're in a good spot. I agree. If the Jets finish 2-3, and three, they're probably in. Yeah. Again, They're probably in a two you and can three. jump Miami. To, you own the. However, it's the same old Jets where we'll be nine and seven and miss the playoffs. Find a way. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Find a way. Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening to Week Thirteen Reaction. We'll see you for the Week Fourteen Preview. See you next time.